What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we're reviewing a sauce named Adobo Loco Jalapeno Chico, something you hope is never said about your private parts. Adobo Loco is out of Maui. It was founded in 2011 by Tim Parsons Fernandez. Adobo Loco translates to crazy sauce. The company essentially sprout it no pun intended from a a homeschool gardening project and just became a business after that he got into hot sauces barbecues salsa and you know the rest is history the city it's out of is maui there are no billboards allowed in maui it actually would be kind of uh, messed up to have a bunch of advertisements blocking that beautiful scenery right also the hawaiian alphabet consists of only 13 letters five vowels and eight consonants and again, simplicity, right? Less is more. <laughs> Haleakala is the largest dormant volcano in the world. Hawaii also has the highest life expectancy of any state in the Union. Yeah, I, I can't imagine a lot of uh, stressful days on that island, right? Well, except for recent events. But anyway, uh, aside from that, famous people include Cedric Sabalas, who played with the Phoenix Suns and was the slam dunk champion with his blindfolded dunk. Maui is also the birthplace of the flying Hawaiian Shane Victorino. Used to play with the Phillies. Uh, and then uh, some uh, people that weren't born there but live or partially live there are Woody Harrelson and Iron Maiden guitarist Dave Murray. So let's look at the packaging. If you've ever seen an Adobo Loco label, they all look the same except different color schemes for each. They have a very consistent logo. Basically, the pattern is the same as well. You know, the only thing that changes are minute details, right? This one is brown and green. There are some uh, roosters there saying uh, born in Maui and enjoyed everywhere. I didn't even realize that in part of the logo, let's see if we can see that there. There are, it's those two, those two cocks are also in there <laughs> as well. <laughs> This says it's very hot. I mean, serving suggestions, it says uh, jalapeno chico taco sauce. Goes exceptionally well with tacos, breakfast sandwiches, eggs, avocado toast, Bloody Marys, pizza, nachos, burritos, taco rice. What the fuck is taco rice? Never heard of that before. Uh, huevos rancheros, <laughs> chilaquiles, migas, chili, soups, stews, and so much more. The fuck is taco rice all right let's look at the ingredients the ingredients include apple cider vinegar smoked jalapenos sea salt garlic smoked paprika nutritional yeast smoked ghost peppers trinidad maruga powder inactive baker's yeast two ye types of yeast which is interesting so uh we'll talk about inactive uh, baker's yeast also known as inactivated yeast it's an all-natural product so what it's used for is it reduces the mix times in doughs but and because it's not alive anymore it doesn't ferment anymore so you don't have to worry about it potentially like making your your, your dough sour it's used in many cookies crackers and some pastas but the it does throw off the taste of pasta but basically anything where you layer um dough onto like plates or, sh or sheets or anything like that it's typically used so it does add nutrients and vitamins as well the yeast has also been described as having a cheese type flavor before we get any further let's hear from this week's sponsor pizza can wreak havoc on your digestive system the cheese can stop you up like a drain plug you no longer have to worry about that anymore, though, with Pizzeria, the first laxative-infused pizza. Our pizza is cheesy, and your movements will come out easy. Just eat one slice, and everything slides out nice. Available in gluten-free and vegan. All of our locations do not permit eating in. Only carry-out is available. Pizzeria, the pizza to go that makes you go. Warning may cause bloating, flatulence, stomach cramps, nausea, dehydration, and searing gas pain. Now for the moment of truth. You can smell something smoky, apple cider vinegar, I guess these uh, jalapenos, pretty prominent, and smoked ghost peppers. So there's going to be a lot of smokiness in this. Ghost pepper and also uh, scorpion powder. I did not think this was going to be that hot. This one apparently clocks in at 103,000, making it a potential heavyweight. <laughs> I mean, that's all I could really get from it. You could smell the, the smoke, the apple cider vinegar. If this is anything like the fire fire, that, one's gonna, that, that one was about 70,000, 
That one's pretty hot. This one's gonna be a motherfucker, and this one's pretty liquidy too, so I don't know if you saw how quickly that poured out, but this is, and I'm kind of like worried about having this over my computer. It is a reddish brown, very, uh, very fluid, very liquidy. So chances are the powder is what's gonna give it its kick. Uh, I'm gonna look for flavor profiles such as, again, uh, smokiness. I'm gonna look for something with the yeast, maybe the vinegar. They said this is a taco sauce, so let's see if what else we can uh, ascertain from this. All right, here we go, cheers. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> Burn in the back of the throat. <clears throat> Almost like on the way down. <laughs> and slightly increasing in the back of the tongue. I want to tickle the back of my throat. Uh, <clears throat> not the hottest sauce, though. I mean, it's it's hot. It's got a good heat to it. It just took me by surprise. To be honest with you, though, that, I don't think that was like 103. It was a middleweight. It just took me by surprise. It kind of tickled my throat. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere, right? But I don't know what the yeast is used for because I didn't really taste anything that tastes it like vinegary or bitter. Yeah, there's a, it's mostly a smoky flavor and a good pepper flavor with a touch of the sweetness of the apple cider vinegar, but that just rounds out the flavor. So I don't know what the yeast is used for, to be honest with you. This is a very delicious sauce though. Yeah, I would definitely put this on everything they said, even that taco rice, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, versatile sauce. I think it's very pepper forward and smoky. So yeah, this would be tremendous. It's a really good sauce. Albeit I have a, a whole slew of taco sauces that I'm very loyal and uh, have an abundance of. I've always liked a double loco. Their shit's just straightforward and clean and simple, and they've done it again. So, what would I put this on? Anything and everything. Honestly, it's that flavorful, that good, and especially if you you use this with Kahlua pork, perfect. Since that has a smoky flavor already to it. Anything that's smoked, barbecue, whatever. This is perfect. It's a, it's a really great sauce. Would I buy it? You know what? Yeah, I would actually buy this. It's pretty good. <laughs> Again, um, it is runny. There are hotter sauces than this, but this one will have a good kick. If you're a beginner, it's going to burn you. Next week, I'll be reviewing a sauce from Angry Goat named Dreams of Calypso. Until then, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.